All right, Melvin Farmer. Hey, what's going on there, bro? How you doing, Cam? Man, I'm good, man. Welcome back. Thank you for having you know? me back. Definitely, man. We at it again. We at it again, man. It don't stop till the casket drop. That's it. That's all. Crazy numbers last time. Crazy numbers. We're going to make crazy numbers this time. Every time we speak, we're going to have crazy numbers. If you're doing likes and sound bites. That's it. That's it, man. Yes, sir. Well, there's a lot going on in L.A. recently, man. Um, you know, unfortunately, at the recently, Draco mm -hmm. passed away at a concert. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Slim some, 400. Some 400. And a couple more other guys have uh, went about the wayside in the last couple of years uh, that have lost their uh, life uh, due to senseless gun violence or conflict resolutions that have been taken to the uh, the limit. Did you know any of them? Either one of them? Well, I get word on anybody that uh, loses their life, entertainment, the streets. So I knew them, but not so much as personally. I know the crew that they hang with and some of the guys, so a lot of times I get information about what's going on even before it's even reported as news. So we get things like, uh, uh, what's my boy, uh, Indian Red, when he got slain live on the internet. Uh, prior to that, I knew nothing about him, but I was talking to uh, a chain gang member and uh, Sinbad to be exact, and we had been discussing it even before the incident happened, so a lot of times, I go straight to the source and I get uh, the information on what's really going down as opposed to what's put out publicly. Has an older vet, you know, that comes from the streets and from L.A., uh, you know, now that you're older, you know, what do you think when you see something like this happen? Well, I think it's just a wasted life to where these guys are rapping now and starting beefs so that when this stuff started, guys were hustling and rapping to get out the hood. Nine days, uh, older guys like us with uh, reputations, we trying to get rid of the reputations that they're basically trying to get. So I look at it and uh, I know from experience at the end of the day, uh, when you go to claiming sets or game banging or hustling in the streets and the long ones, and the long runs very seldom is their happy ending in the story. So it's nothing but what come with the territory once you sign up for this game. It's a sad situation all the way around, man. You know, you know, I interviewed Slim 400 two times. Always a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? You know, dope interviews, talented, you know, been around a while. You know, so that one kind of, you know, was a little bit more closer. A little bit know? more personal where it touched home. And you know, you can wipe up water, but you can't wipe up blood and the stains. Uh, when a person lost their loved one, Due to, uh, and blood was shed, they don't forget about their loved ones. You can sit and holler, oh, I'm slaying this, I'm taking away their memories. You never could take away uh, a person that's lost their loved one memories of their family. That's never going away. So when you hear Charleston White, he's slaying, he ain't got enough weight to say shit, make no impact in nothing, particularly when it comes to these streets. You know, he's been practicing social addition where he pop off at the mouth from long distance, but he didn't pop off with nobody in his face. And so we'll be back there again, and whenever he ready to step to the mic, like on your show together, we can touch bases and not slam on the mic. No way somebody that just read a book don't ever, ever beat me talking on this mic when I lived and breathed exactly what they read. He out his league. I promise you. People don't even know me and Charleston White relationship. Charleston White came to meet me. He chose me, like a bro, to come meet me, which a lot of them do, just to touch in, touch bases. I put him on shows. I managed him first. I got the video right here. I had him on KPFK. We did a show with Althea Moses. We did a curricula with children. We did all kind of stuff, and then he flipped later on. That's why I got a personal interest in him, because everybody he's talking about, he met through me. They gave him a pass, let his little old cowboy ass run around. On, a, on my word, 
then he go back and he thinking this is something where you downgrading somebody when they not away talk. That ain't happening. I'm gonna be on his ass like white on right. He can talk long distance, yap, 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 but he got to bring his ass to get some ass. And this is not a threat, it's just a promise. A lot of us is headed to stardom. It just might be on 48 hours. Charleston White is always, you know, talking, talking about somebody or, or arguing with somebody. Talking about yesterday news today. We make news right now. We don't talk about yesterday's news, particularly from a child molester, a pedophile. He talk about he went to read a book on Monster Cody. Who reads a book and then go, I'm a leader now? He don't know nobody he's talking about. He read, he pop, he put things in the paper to grab your attention, but if you want to match up on what we're doing on the community, he can't match up with me. He can't match up with me no time around other than running his mouth at a long distance about other ones. But, uh, you know, I don't wish no wet, bad ill on it because all he's going to do is go to the police. He's always been a victim. You got two names that go on the police report, suspect and victim. He was a victim in juvenile hall when he was getting uh, sexually abused. He was a victim when he went to PC. He was a victim when he lost his eye. He was a victim when he lost his bitch. That's how this game go. And for it's him running his mouth, I'm gonna be in Texas in a couple of weeks and he can step to the mic with his crew by himself. It don't make no difference, bring him and we're gonna see, but step to the mic and run your mouth. That long distance you had don't mean nothing. Step to the mic, bring your ass. Do you think that, you know, bringing him over here kind of like gave him like ammunition or? He didn't have no ammunition. Everything he's saying, a lot of it is a lie and the things that are true He's patronized somebody else's thoughts. A lot of things I hear him say come out of his mouth, he come from my thoughts, my ideas, and he just used them and twisted them. But he has no experience. His ears are not to the pavement. You know, his boots not to the ground when the camera's not around. Where he go? He can't go nowhere now. So all that grandstanding, trying to get in protective custody, that's why he always run into the police. They trying to kill me. Ain't nobody trying to kill him. Ain't nobody even paying no attention to him. Nobody from his community. I get letters, inboxes all day from guys from Texas. F. Charleston White, he don't represent us. He's just on a one-man crusade that's going to lead him to being on his back.